Hey, welcome back to Clem's Lab. Uh, so I wanted to give you an update on uh, the machine I've been working on. So this is a CNC router to cut wood and aluminium and eventually even steel. It's quite big, it's uh, made for like four sheets of uh, plywood. And so it's my design. Uh, I've, I've looked at a few things that uh, people are doing online, but uh, it's mostly made from uh, those uh, um, aluminium profiles. So like standard 80-20 uh, things and then I use like bearing rails uh, and like uh, the ball screw so you can see that when I rotate it moves the moves the head. I just crashed it so it's not gonna move very far. Uh, I've been doing the first test so you can see I'm working on like this sort of like tool holder um, piece. I want to give you sort of like an idea of what goes into uh, making this kind of a uh, machine so like the first thing that I did was like building really the the support frame so it's still a bit flimsy for now but I'm gonna reinforce it with also E20 and then there's the bed also 8020 and a, a piece that's gonna be sacrificed for making everything leveled I've ordered a few customs aluminium parts that have been made by, by a shop it's my design they were able to also paint it which makes it uh, look nice so you can see there's like two huge ball screws on each side um, to run the the x-axis um, and then also a ball screw here to run the y-axis okay so that allows you to move uh, x and then y and then a big uh, a big one for the for the z z-axis with the spindle at the bottom uh, so this is just also a spindle that I that I ordered, um, and so everything runs with uh, brushless servos. They they're the the clear path motors. Um, they are actually super useful to super easy to use because they are just driven by step uh, input uh, inputs. So you have uh, power and then some sort of communication uh, custom cable that goes uh, all the way to the the computer so this is the this is the way the cabling is done using this, this sort of rails that makes it easy to 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 go through an axis without having the cable go everywhere so you have the same the bigger one on the on the x-axis and everything everything arrives at this uh, computer box which is still a bit of a mess it's an old computer that I found so you have the cable connectors that are here uh, some sort of like aviation it's like aviation type connectors to use to make things clean for the for the wiring even though still not very clean but it will be uh, and everything goes directly actually to this uh, small Arduino for controlling the the motors so no need for that's the good thing with those motors is that the driver is actually the driver is already in the back in the back of the servos so there's no extra board so the, the wiring is quite simple and then there's this big thing for the turning the spindle USB cable for now just going directly through uh, my laptop but then eventually Raspberry Pi so yeah it's working well I mean well it's working the first uh, the first tests are are good it's starting to make a lot of chips so uh, there is a list of items that I need to correct it one of them is to put end stops so I, I don't have any end stops so if the machine bumps it will just like overload the motors and or eventually break something so it's like not very sustainable so I'll, I'll add the, the end stop soon I've actually had a bit of troubles with the, the X motors because there's two of them and I think they're a bit under power so I might change the, the motors I can also raise the voltage of the of the whole uh, uh, thing so right now it's using oh yeah you can, I didn't show this but in the in the box you can see the there's a 48 volt DC supply for the power for the motors because the problem is sometimes one of them will will fail and that's what just happened here and so on one side it will go keep going on the other it won't so so it's a it's kind of a dangerous uh, situation I have been even like screwed properly this uh, this piece so I need to make a MDF sacrificial piece to 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 hold all the all the parts um, but yeah, I mean, first tests are good. It's gonna need a little bit more love. I already broke a, c a couple of bits, so yeah. But yeah, I'll show you some uh, some of the images of the build.
Thanks for watching, hope you, you like this video and then I'll see you next time.